This is frustrating because I can't fix it. He's ready to bail some more straw today, kids. Okay, so we did bring um, the mask. should have enough until you bring me some lunch. We're on what, day four of this? Yeah. So uh, we're still big bailing. Um, I'll be running the big square while the boys play catch up behind me. Did you get everything unloaded now? Or is there still- uh, He's got uh, um, military and uh, utility on his kind of Okay, so I don't know how many even we did yesterday, but the boys are running the loads, which is making it where we can actually go home at a decent time this year because the wingman is helping Jason pick up the straw. Whereas in previous years, we've had to bail and then him and I will pick it up. But with Keaton here, learning how to drive the semis yeah. has really helped. So which one do you like driving the best? <laughs> she is pretty slick, isn't she? She, she's easy to shift. Yeah. Yeah. So which one do you not like? Which one's the least of your favorite? Yours. I figured. <laughs> Nobody likes my truck. I love my truck. I kill it all the time. <laughs> it, I think it's just because you have a hard time finding first, isn't it? No, I don't put it in first. I put it in second. Oh. Is that I what dad? one and straight up. Is that what dad told you to do? Yeah. Oh, oh he's going in second. Okay. Okay. Go slow and clutch and wrap it up. Okay. Alright, let's get to the field. Watch do you like for now? Yeah, they were out there watching. It's a pretty fun operation to watch. We have so much to still do. All this wheat hanging around. We're going to 115 acres. Is that what we're doing now? I think so. And it's all big squares? Well, I just keep bailing. That's my job. I should have enough till you bring me some lunch. All of this? Huh? What? He's ready to bail some more straw today, kids. So we do run an Agco 7433 cutter. We've had it since 2020. Um, it's a three by three, not a three by four. It makes a smaller bale, I think it's seven foot. Jason's getting it all lined out. And it comes to down. Um, I kind of got a little dizzy, so I'm going to go cool off. can't hear myself think with the air conditioning running like that. Roxy 
is pretty much full time in the tracker with me because she's a puppy and she's learning to be um, right at my side at all times. Plus, here lately I've just kind of need the extra emotional emotional support. Therapy dog. That's what we're gonna title her as. It's been emotionally taxing this week. Just a lot of different things. You guys caught my stories on Instagram. You can want, follow along on Chronicles of Kayla underscore that on Kitchen Timmy. Um, I'm just, I'm tired. My body's tired. I'm pushing it through a lot. Um, just keeping up with Jason is sometimes hard. I'm behind on video. If there's anyone rolling out today, maybe I'll get caught up someday. Maybe when it rains. So, all right, you guys, tag along. Buddy seats open. Here's to another day in the straw field. I don't tell him that I am thankful for him nearly enough because you guys don't see it all the time, but this is the stuff he's doing while I'm doing other things. He's always making sure I'm ready to go. The equipment's ready. I got a good one. You're not gonna fit back there, sister. You're not gonna fit there. That's her favorite place to lay, is right behind, or right beside my chair. with straw and like the big baler and just how we were set up you really have to go with the way the combine cut the wheat so like these rows are coming down they're just in a different way and you can see how the straw looks different you really we have to run with the windrow otherwise you just bunch up I don't know if you guys can see how I kind of bunch that straw up so I'll have to swing back and go that way but that's like the biggest thing I have to watch for is I have to really pay attention away the combine was moving and I wasn't over here when they started cutting this because I was trailing Kevin and I think Mark was over here cutting these so I just gotta gotta figure it out but uh, Josh came back and said they are about my half mile long wind rows so good nice stroking rows just plunging away I am in the 145 because of all the monitor situation. Jason just doesn't have time to take them out and swap them around. I really thought I was gonna be little bailing some of this today, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case or not. Okay, so this is probably the hardest part for me is because I don't know how to quite fix everything here. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down. I don't know if 
if you'll sit there. I have a knotter issue. Um, and Jason's, oh my gosh, it's like all knotted around there. This is frustrating because I can't fix it. This is the worst part about me running this baler is honestly, I don't know how to fix it like I do the little baler. So I always need Jason to come back and help me. And it just wears on me because I know I'm bugging him and I hate it because I can't fix it. <sighs> At least the sun is shining. It's just a nice breeze out here today. Five wind rows in. I'm five wind rows in. Okay, so let's see the knotter fingers have massive amounts of twine wrapped around it. I bet I started a new bale or a new bundle. So sometimes it's not necessarily everyone who wants to blame the baler, and it's not always the baler's fault. It's a lot of times it's just the twine. If you don't have good twine, then sometimes it can be not a very fun process. So this baler makes two knots every bale. Every time it, it runs, it makes two knots. Top knot and a bottom knot. Ugh! I really probably should have. Problem is I cannot get it to go up. So I can see what the hell I'm doing. And this is why I can't get a hold of him. I was trying. Handy dandy little magnet. I know, I said the same thing. <laughs> I need one on mine. Keaton said that my uh, parts from Norden came. Well, for this one, I think. Oh, don't you? I know. Do you want to get out? I mean, he has to go fix the bailer so you need to go potty. Okay? The boys are bringing us some water. Yes, they forgot us. They're there. Yes. We'll have lunch and snacks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go fix the baler. Now you go potty. Now don't get lost, because you're foxy. You're going to blend into the wheat. Yes, you are. Okay, so we just... The twine uh, broke off, so I had to reroute it. Um, so now we're just putting it back all the way through here again. Guys, I'm getting a crash course in this thing. Oh, come on. The good news is there's still string in the baler part. So I think I can just tie off right to the baler, the bale that's in there. We'll see. So unlike the small square baler, it, it has four strings of twine and it knots two times 
each time. So a top and bottom knot has two. Whereas the little baler only has two and this has four knots. Pretty cool, huh? And then this, the knotter fan on this one runs off PTO. So that's the knotter fan. So I don't have to worry about like turning it on. And these lovely lollipops. That's what tells you when you have a back problem back here. Well, while we're up here, we'll just enjoy the view, right? Okay. Back down the tire. Um, so Jason's trying to decide whether or not for me to keep bailing. Um, I'm over halfway done with this field, but we really want to get the Massey out here and just see how she is compared to like running it on this one. Um, the Massey and this tractor are the same horsepower, the 145. The only difference is this tractor is a little heavier. So that was the main concern um, with putting the Massey on the large square, but this field is nice and flat. So <clears throat> I think we're at a good point. There's tons of bales out here and the guys are moving west with the combines and the planter. So there's no rush like there was yesterday and the day before to get the, the wheat bales off because they were planting. So they're giving us this time to kind of catch up, which would allow us to uh, take time to take the tractor home and uh, do a little switcherine. So I think that's the plan. Find out for sure when the boss gets off the phone back there. It's been a day. It's been a long day. I smashed my finger. Like it's very sore. Like I did cut it. Not that you can see it on the camera, but just trying to see what he wants to do. He wants what to do. The cute hair lasted all of an hour today. It was clean. It will need washed again tonight. So Jason did decide that we are going to go ahead and take the baler home for the moment. His tractor drives me nuts. Anyway, we're going to take the tractor home. And I think swap the baler out and put her on the Massey. Oh my gosh, Roxy. Really? I <laughs> should Well, we ran home and we swapped out the deer for the Massey. We just want to see what it does. See how she handles the Agco. And then if she does good tonight, then we'll run her all day tomorrow. Okay, so this is the Agco monitor. We got to remember to lock our wheels. Okay. And so that's on two. One, float, it's good. Um, okay. I'll we'll have a camera hooked up. We'll just leave it there for now. Uh, I did change over to a thousand PTO. I guess I can turn off my blinkers and my hazards and all this stuff. Oh, we're not straight. What do you think, Roxy? Okay. Let's see what happens. We're in two A. Seems like we're going very fast. I may have to drop down.
I can't not help share the sunset tonight. Don't mind the dirt and the dust. But we did get the Massey hooked up to the Agco this afternoon. We took a little bit of break from baling hauling and then tomorrow we'll be back at it. It won't be Roxy. She's a tired little poochie. And I'm gonna need some fuel. But very pleased with how the ad goes plunging them out today. Can you not see out the window? Well, I can't drive and hold you at the moment. It's just not gonna work. You're just gonna have to hold on. And now the fun part, unloading. 